Lloyd, I think, wanted, he's quoted as saying, I want Goldman Sachs brought to the world after right. the financial crisis. Tough to get revenue, tough to, to grow the bank. Let's bring Goldman Sachs to the world. Malaysia is one of the places. That's part of the world. Part of the world. But was there a push? Did, did his executives feel a push by him to cut corners and to, to do that? And, and did David Solomon have anything to do with it? All great questions, Joe. So I don't think we really know. We only know bits and pieces of this story so far. They're good, though. The ones that we know are They're juicy. You know, there's a book out there about it. Uh, you know, David Solomon was head of investment banking during this time. This was a investment banking transaction. The thing that sticks in my mind is the fee, right? If you're doing, you know, say a total of $6 billion. You're talking about the outsized fee. The outsized fee. Andrew understands that. $600 right, million. Dollars, a 10 percent fee on a $6 billion underwriting. Now, now, what Goldman has said, I believe, yesterday was that, look, uh, the Malaysian government wanted us, wanted the money immediately. They wanted us to take this uh, onto our balance sheet and then distribute it later. So for that, uh, we're going to take some risk and we're going to take a bigger fee. Okay, that makes sense to me. It but still. And that makes sense, but it still. It makes sense, and, and by the way, if you're dumb enough to give me the money, I'll take it. Look, it's very unusual for a client to kind of come after an underwriter for raising the money that they wanted them to raise. Now, clearly, there's something going on with the bankers over there in Malaysia and, and, and the intermediary, and, and you know, where there's smoke, there's certainly fire. There's obviously been a guilty uh, plea already. Uh, so. Uh, it's not a good situation. It's not what David Solomon wanted to but, start off his ask you this. tenure. There's, there's obviously the, the Malaysian government going after him. That's one piece of it. Or that's yeah. one thing. Yeah. And I'm not suggesting we'd write that off normally. The question to me, though, is what do you think the Justice Department is doing? What do you think the SEC may do? What do you think it does to the senior management of the company going forward? Are there clients that are going to say, you know what, I don't want to do business with this firm because of this? Do, if we have, do we have any even sense of what the answers are to any of those questions? Because the stock is down a third, a third it's, on it's, this. It's, it's trading below, below book, tangible book. Below book. Not it on went this. public Not at only four only. times book 20 years ago. So, right. I mean, think about the magnitude of that pricing differential. Look, uh, Goldman is about to have its 150th anniversary next year. It has experienced existential crises its whole existence that almost put the whole firm out of business. Is this, is, is this one of those? I, I don't believe this but is, is one this, of those. What, the, the unless, way that, unless, unless you're going to tell me that Lloyd Blankfein was in the room with J-Lo uh, and that they decided at that point they were going to steal well, this the, money. The and, notion that Lloyd was, you know, knew everything that was happening at all times, was this a one-off that, that, or, or were, there, uh, were there lax controls around the world and, and this is the only one we know Go about? Goldman has superior controls. You know, they, they, so then they, what, what happened here? They did, they, they did it before it was vetted, essentially, right? Well, I mean, the, the, again, we don't know. It's it a lot seems of money, like though. it was a one-off. It it's clearly is not the way Goldman wants to do business or is reputed to do business or it's the way its clients expect it to do business. This is obviously a bit of a black eye, but uh, and I don't mean to minimize it in any way, and it's clearly a diversion of management's attention away from the things that David Solomon really needs to do, but I think they've got a group in that firm that is focused, laser-like focus on trying to resolve this. To Andrew's question, I mean, obviously, you know, the SEC is looking, the Justice right. Department is looking. You know, they look at a lot of things, whether they find anything. I mean, Goldman has got to be about trying to settle this right now and fast, as soon as they can. And, you know, the, the Abacus deal cost them, what, $550 million? Right. This will probably be more. More? You think it's going to start with a B? It could. Material?